Hi, welcome to my second video, part one. This video shows the basic moves and essential skills needed for astrojacks. I call this video the technique block. Orbit cushioning, as I call it, is where your hand moves in a circle to cushion and guide the orbit to where you want it to go, instead of simply jerking your hand up and down. Cushion in the direction you want your AJs to go. If your hand goes clockwise, your AJs will go clockwise. Cushioning gives you better tactile feedback, which means that if you were to play with your eyes closed, you would still know what your AJs are doing as well as where they are. This is kinetics philosophy. Hand movements are important in knowing where your AJs are going to go and what they are going to do. If you move your hand to the left, your AJs will go to the left. That It's that simple. These techniques allow you to have complete control over your astro jacks. You can also change the direction of an orbit this way without using a rebound. Keeping a steady rhythm is essential in astro jacks. You need it for the simple orbit, but also for many other tricks like the thriller. For many tricks, you need to have two hands working together, such as the tulip, calicopter, hyper chimes, or the lolly. The best way to learn dual handed tricks is to break it down and learn and practice it one hand at a time, then you put it together. The lolly is probably the most basic dual handed trick. While you pull the end ball and use that to adjust the length, you use the middle ball to spin it, add momentum, and control the speed. As I said before, this technique allows you to do the calicopter, the tulip, hyper chimes, and crown jewel. Momentum control is important in many tricks, so it's important to get used to momentum. Two key tricks that require a lot of momentum control are the finger flip and the swing pass. Learning what momentum feels like and how to control it can help you with many power play style tricks and can help you increase your speed. The best way to learn how to control momentum is to use it and practice with it. I believe the swing pass is the best trick for learning momentum control. Simply swinging your AJs in a full circle is also a good start for learning momentum control. This technique is good for the swing pass, tornado, cyclone, finger flip, and especially the power play style.
order to get a good clean rebound, you have to make the ball hit perpendicular to the surface it will be hitting. If you're doing a knee rebound, it should come straight down on your knee at a perpendicular angle. Since you can't bring your knee up to a 90 degree angle compared to your other leg, you will have to have your knee at about a 45 degree angle, making the rebound happen at about 2 o'clock from your point of view right now as you watch my video. Visualize a clock, and the middle ball is the center of this clock. That will be your reference. Getting a good perpendicular rebound will make the ball bounce straight off of the surface, making it clean and controllable. This goes for all kinds of rebounds. For a hand rebound, you have more control over where the ball hits because you can adjust your hand more than your knee can, as well as the AJs. For a rebound coming from the inside of your dominant hand or end ball hand, clockwise from your view right now, you will have to hit at about 9 o'clock. That's the optimal perpendicular place. If the ball is coming on the outside of your dominant or end ball hand, counterclockwise from your view right now, you will have to hit at about 12 o'clock. Arm rebounds have to be handled differently. Instead of hitting square on the surface, you want your AJs to wrap around your arm a little bit so that the ball will hit the soft muscle and not the hard bone. This will make it bounce off the surface better and it'll be less painful. A stall is when you take momentum out of a move or a trick. The most basic trick that uses stalls is the lolly. I'm exaggerating the movement, of course. It can be done with the body or by letting the string out. The basic movement can be done when doing a simple circle with full string or half string. This technique is good for the slider, zigzag, the gecko, and many other tricks.